On August of 2022, a YouTuber by the name of Ed Master posted an average of 100 souls with full one look last layer, making him the first ever person in history to learn all 3,916 last layer algorithms. The shortest of these is number 3093, at just 6 moves long, but do any shorter algorithms actually exist? Well, the obvious answer is yes, but keep watching, because I found a few algorithms so short that you can't even use move count to compare them anymore. But hang on, before we get into that, we need to ask ourselves one important question. What is an algorithm? No, seriously, I have spent over a month of my life just trying to answer this question. The most basic definition is that an algorithm is just a series of moves. This one is pretty easy to debunk, as by this definition, just scrambling the cube already is considered as an algorithm, which means that this definition needs to be more specific. So let's look at the second one. An algorithm is a series of moves that brings the cube closer to a solved state. Now, this definition is much better, one that Jpump himself actually uses, but I was able to find one pretty big loophole. This definition implies that a one-move cross solution is considered an algorithm. And sure, to some people, a one-move cross might be an algorithm, but it doesn't feel right to me. An algorithm isn't something that you just figure out on the spot. It's something that you have to learn. Something unintuitive. That's the word. So now that we've finally defined what an algorithm is, I can finally go to sleep. But hang on, what does unintuitive actually mean? To define unintuitive, we need to find some place to start. And well, commutators are a pretty good place. It's pretty easy to understand. Solve one piece, then solve the other, then undo the setup moves. And because they're so easy to understand, most keywords would consider them intuitive. And by our definition, that means that they aren't algorithms. But here's where the headache starts. A lot of commutators can actually be found inside well-known algorithms, like the EPERM, which is just two corner commutators lumped together. But because of this, by our definition, an EPERM isn't an algorithm. Which brings us to our last definition. An algorithm is just a series of pre-memorized moves that bring the cube closer to a solved state. And while this definition might still have some holes in it, it removes a lot of the grey area that can be found in the other definitions. But if you think you have a better definition of algorithm, please just comment it below. So now that we have defined what an algorithm is, we can finally address the title of this video. And we're what, 10 minutes into the video? I am a very good YouTuber! While the shortest one look last layer might be 6 moves long, there actually exists a shorter OLL. In this case, the fat soon, which the conventional algorithm uses 8 moves to solve. But in one very very specific case, you can actually solve it in just 3 moves. And sure, it might not look solved right now, but if you just rotate the cube to red, OLL is solved in just 3 moves. But can we go shorter? Well, actually we can, but we're gonna have to look at some other events. So, if you look at these two cubes, I've applied one move on each. While I applied one move on both of these puzzles, the pieces on the square one moved over a shorter distance, making it a shorter move. Which means that if you want to find a shorter algorithm on a different event, we're gonna have to measure algorithm length by angular rotation. Aside from FMC and the blind events, we can't consider other puzzles where the pieces move equally to or more than the 3x3 in a single move. This includes pyraminx and skew which have a 120 degree turn, a squan slice which is 180 degrees, all n by ends which have 90 degree turns, and clock which doesn't have any algorithms. Which means that the only qualifying event, our lord and saviour, is the Megaminx, which has a 72 degree turn. And here's the neat part. Remember that 3 move all out on 3x3? Well, it turns out that you can actually set up the exact same case, but on Megaminx. And because a move on the Megaminx is shorter than a 3x3, the pieces actually move over a total of 216 degrees, which makes it a shorter algorithm than the 3 move or its- Oh wait, this parody. Ah, uh, never mind that then. So I guess that the shortest algorithm would have to be that 3 move all out from earlier. There's simply no other algorithm from any other puzzle that's shorter than this. Or is there? I was so goofy, I'm not doing that ever again. So, so far we've only looked at a few WCA puzzles, and we've negated a few events. So in order to find the shortest algorithm, you're actually gonna need to close your eyes for quite a long time. Unless you're studying the chapel. Because where we can find the shortest algorithm is in 4 blind and 5 blind. And there actually exist 3 different kinds of parity you can get on these events. First, there's wing parity, which is 16 moves long. There's also adjacent parity, which is also 16 moves long. Then last but not least, there's center parity, which I kid you not, is literally just a U2. A 1 move long, or 180 degree if you want to be a nerd, algorithm. 
Uh, sorry to interrupt with the video, but I find the thought of a single move being an algorithm to be absolute nonsense. This video and your entire channel are nothing but absolute tr- <laughs> Alright, look, I get that it can be quite hard to see a U2 as a single algorithm, but if you look at the definition that we set earlier, it kind of matches up. A U2 in the case of Big Blind Parity is actually a pre-memorized move that brings the cube closer to a solved state, so if you agree with that definition, a U2 is in fact an algorithm. And with this knowledge, because I love short algorithms, I can finally say that I love U2. But you know what's something else I also love? Cheap cubes. Which brings me to today's sponsor, Cubeworks. Well, hang on, please don't click off. You don't want to miss this, alright? Trust me. Cubeworks is a Singaporean retail brand that sells all kinds of cubes. And if you love cheap cubes just like me, you can use discount code TECH at cubeworks.com at checkout to get 10% off your order. Or if you're in the physical store, you can just show them that 1. you subscribe to my channel, and 2. you follow them on Instagram. And boom, cheap cubes. And shout out to these very cool people who use my discount code, and thank you for watching.